learned a really valuable business lesson recently, okay? Value creation. So let's define value creation. <laughs> According to Google, value creation in business refers to the specific act of offering a product or service to a customer. The task of business is helping the customer satisfy a need. The business is rewarded through the exchange of money or other materials with an agreed upon value. So basically all that's trying to say is if you identify the problem that your target audience frequently experiences and show them why it is your product can solve that problem, you're basically opening the door. You're opening the door to that conversion, to that profit, to that money, okay? So now that we have an understanding on value creation, I really wanna understand why it is you create. Why are you passionate about the product or service that you offer? For me, it has a lot to do with representation. It has a lot to do with um, accessibility. I've watched my family and my friends not feel like fashion is something that they can actively participate in just because they don't look a certain way. So that is my why. That's why I create. But why do you create? Now, once you've identified your why, I also challenge you to think about your process to getting to that why. What layers of yourself did you have to unfold to understand why you're passionate about the products that you bring to life what personal situation what personal story connects to your product write those down okay because i promise you i promise you i promise you there are hundreds of thousands of other human beings who are also experiencing the same issues and your product is the solution and could you imagine if you convert those hundreds of thousands of beings who have the income and, and the um, ability to participate in whatever your product or service is. And that is a win-win for both of you guys. You're building a relationship with someone who's passionate about your offering, but you're also allowing for yourself to create impact in your market so that you can continue to get your product and service to the right people, okay? The next question I need you to ask yourself is, how the hell... Do I make this appearance to my audience? This is actually the fun part. Subtle communicants. I'm so happy right now, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I just love talking about this stuff. Okay, I'm done. Um, <laughs> so anyway, this is where the aesthetical decisions come in. This is where the subtleties happen, okay? The how is all about making choices in alignment with the value that you know you provide. Let's take Google for an example. So we're gonna go to the Google homepage. At the center of the page is the company's logo. Um, it's decorated with either, you know, the primary colors or, you know, whatever illustration to commemorate a specific holiday or day in history. The use of primary colors and historical illustrations make you feel like you're, you know, a little kid learning about something new in history that, you know, you didn't know before you walked into class. You know, even the magnifying glass that they have on the search bar, it reminds you of how much closer you'll get to whatever it is you're seeking an answer for. Once you press enter, you're entering the abyss of knowledge. I say all this to say, whatever it is that you're producing for the world, you have to provide value. And without value, you're setting yourself up and your goals up for failure. You have to have it. You have to resolve a problem. You have to at least connect to a really, uh, to a universal emotion, to something your, your, your product is here to tell us something. Bridge the gap between your audience and your offering. And I promise you, bro, I promise you, you will see a difference in your conversion. So listen, do it right and you're going to be tight. You know, do it right, you're going to be tight. If you need any assistance with building the business of your dreams, subscribe, bro. That's all I have to say. Have a great day. Mwah.